Well, Broadway has gone to hell, or rather, hell has come to Broadway with the hot new musical, Hades Town. Yeah, this show is on fire, scoring 14 Tony nominations, the most of any show this year, and it's getting hot right in here as we have Hades himself. <laughs> Tony nominee Patrick Page, Page with us. Hi, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. We love this voice. I know, <laughs> I, know, know I know. That. You have an incredible voice. <laughs> but okay, you, this is your 15th show, first Tony nomination. What was your reaction when you heard that you had been nominated? Well, I got up to watch everything on uh, television. We were watching the Tony nominations come in, and my wife and I, Paige Davis, yeah. were sitting on the bed with our dog, Georgie, and I was just, you know, ecstatic and relieved when uh, they called my name. Yeah, and this show, come on, you knew that you were a part of something special when you started with this? I did. I started with this show three years ago in New York Theatre Workshop. I kind of chased it down myself because I wanted to work with Rachel Chavkin, who's this brilliant director who had directed Great Comet off Broadway. I'd seen it. I said, I have to work with her. Yeah. And then I listened to the music by Anais Mitchell. I downloaded one song because I thought, I'm not going to spend a whole album. I, 99 cents. I listened, <laughs> That's it. I listened to uh, Hey Little Songbird. Mm. Uh, which is this amazing song of seduction that Hades sings to Eurydice, and I had not heard anything like it on a stage before. And I just picked up the phone and called my agent and said, please arrange a meeting. I need to meet these people. I have to sing this that song. Was yeah. it. Well, wow. Can you just describe the story for us? Because I think it's been hard to kind of figure out in a, in a brief way what this story is. I think that's right. Well, imagine that you, you found your way, perhaps accidentally, into a jazz club in New Orleans, uh, maybe during the Depression or the Dust Bowl era. Mm -hmm. And inside this jazz club, this are the most extraordinary group of individuals, uh, each one odder and more interesting and sexier than the last. And that this group of individuals, led by a mysterious, uh, suave, spiritual MC, begins to tell tell this ancient tale. Yeah. This tale of two interweaving love stories that are love stories of the gods. Hades and Persephone and of human beings, Orpheus and Eurydice, and how these two love stories interact is told through uh, American folk music and jazz and rock. Cool. And, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really sounds incredible. It, it, and we yeah. have to say, um, Hades is the villain uh, of this, and you kind of know your way around the villain. You have played, what, uh, the Green Goblin, Scar and the Lion King, and the Grinch. Uh, you know, what it, how do you make these uh, villains lovable, or, or what is it that you love about playing a villain, I should ask? What I love about villains, and I, I always push back on that word, and especially... What do you like instead? Well, especially in the case of Hades. Hades mm -hmm. is a man who is deeply, deeply in love with his wife, and the, the situation in this particular myth is that she has to leave for six months of a year because she's goddess of the season. So he's always feeling insecure and longing for her. Mm. And so out of that feeling of insecurity, he does some terrible things. <laughs> um, but, but also there's a, there's a sense of redemption with the character. So, but what I look for in, in darker characters is, is what's broken in them. What's the hole they're trying to fill? Um, and I empathize with them, yeah. which is maybe why I get to play so many of them. And that's why the audience connects so well with I the think characters. So, yeah. yeah, I think so. You know, you mentioned your wife, Paige Davis, who we love. She's actually here today. Um, we can't get enough of the two of you. I know that um, you've been together for a very long time. What, what do you think it is to making it work in this industry? What, what, what's your secret? I just say yes to whatever what she is, That's what you have to do. I agree with yes. that. Yes. She, she would absolutely tell you that's not true. <laughs> just say that's not true. Well, and you met doing Beauty and the Beast. And yes, there's talk did. of a revival, too. So yeah. is it, would you guys want to work together and do that again? I, w I was just saying to Paige, I can't imagine playing Lumiere again. I did that when I was in my 30s. It's one of the most demanding physical roles. Oh gosh, God yeah. bless whatever actor plays that because he'd better get to the gym right now. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> and when you wake up in the morning, is your voice even deeper than it is now? You know how some people, when you wake up, yeah. your voice is deeper than you have to it talk. It probably in. is, yeah. right. I mean, I'm one of the very few people who warm up in the evening to sing lower. Right. Yeah. right. All right. Well, you can catch Patrick in Hadestown at the Walter Kerr Theater. For tickets, head to Hadestown.com. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you yes, so much. Thanks.